All right, so today we're going to be looking at a new product, a product that I think is uh, being a little bit overlooked, and I'll explain why in a minute. The new Kuridon EX Deluxe Battle Deck. Now, I know what you're thinking. James, these are bulk EXs. What are you talking about? We're going to get into this and talk about why this product is actually pretty good, but I want you to take a look at this card list. You can pause it right there if you want to read it, uh, but there are a couple hidden gems in there. So let's go ahead and open this up. By the way, I believe these retail for $24.99, but most online shops sell them for much cheaper because EX Battle Decks do not um, sell well. So we could say something like, is this product worth $19.99, right? Because they may not be considered a $24.99 product by a lot of shops. So you get a couple of like little niche things. You get a play mat, you get a... Uh, little counters thing you get uh i'm assuming this is like a strategy booklet or like a strategy thing to tell you kind of how to play your deck um those are kind of just there for like the new beginners you get a coin featuring Kuridon. you get some uh markers this is your regular deck and then you get three ex cards now once again you may have wanted to have a better ex in here there are a lot of playable EXs in today's game that could be nice. I know Iron Thorns just got a lot of hype for winning worlds. I know Iron Hands is also a pretty decent EX. And there's a couple of other EXs that are just really solid that a lot of people might say, why give us a bulk EX? And that's that's understandable. But I do like the fact that these are ancient Pokemon and I know ancient uh, Pokemon have some strengths. There are some good ancient Pokemon. I know Sandy Shocks is not that bad. Uh, but Coridon EX himself is just kind of a uh, lackluster in that regard. Now for the deck itself, this is where I think some of your hidden gems are at. I think this is where you're going to find some of your actually good stuff. So let's start off by looking at this deck and seeing what's inside. So obviously you got your energies, which if you guys don't know, energies practically have no value. So like to me, energies are kind of just throwaways. You get Sandy Shocks. This is actually a decently playable card. I've seen some decks use this. Don't know if any top decks use it, but I've seen this played before. You get Sodus Vitality. So it's actually a pretty good card. Actually pretty playable. Um, really good trainer card to get in this deck. You get Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. This would probably be a little bit better for a trainer if it wasn't reprinted. I think it's been in two different sets. I want to say Paradox, Rift, and Temporal Forces, but I might be wrong on what two sets. But I believe this has been in two different sets at least. And it's just, it's readily available. You get Great Tusk EX. This is not the Great Tusk that's actually really good. There's another one that's actually pretty fun to use. Professor's Research been printed a million times at this point. Nest Ball, not as playable as it was when it released. When this card released in Scarlet and Violet, it was like a like $3 card, $2 card. And now you can get them for like 15 cents. Still a good trainer though. Youngster. This is your basic draw three, or no, this is a shuffle and draw five. So it's a basic shuffle draw five. Not really that playable. Cried on Ancient, this is decent for like a deck exclusive. But here's where the jam is, Earthen Vessel. A lot of people have been begging for this to get like a reprint or something because it's been like $4 a copy, $5 a copy. Earthen Vessels are in this uh, product and I believe there's three of them in here. So that's a very, very playable card. Explorer's Guidance is pretty good too. Nest Ball, Ultra Ball. So some pretty playable trainers there. Another Sandy Shocks. You get Super Rod. This is worth like maybe a dollar. These were like two to three dollars at one point, but they have gone down a bit. So they're pretty playable trainers. I know a lot of decks use them, but I think, um, I think they're just so readily available at this point that it's not as expensive, but they're still a decent trainer for, I think this is actually a common. So for a common, it's a pretty solid trainer. Cook, not very good. Youngster, once again, not very good. Research, another Vitality. Another Coridon, another Nest Ball. You get another Explorer's Guidance, another Rhyme. A boss's order, always a good trainer as well. Especially Getsus, he's a cool trainer in my opinion. I like him as a character. There goes your second Earthen Vessel. So there's at least two in this product. I wanna say the card list said three. There is a third one. 
So immediately, just by value, you're getting good $15 in playable trainers back. You're getting uh, a few uh, research, you're getting a three earthen vessel, a few nest ball, um, you're getting a couple switches, a boss's order, and then you're getting the uh, Sada's Vitality. You're getting a few of those as well, as well as a Super Rod. So to me, if you were looking for like a EX Battle Deck that actually can help bolster some of your playable trainers out of it, I actually think this product's kind of worth it. Once again, it is meant for those, no, I'm going to call them trainers, but those players, those kids who are trying to level up from the beginner decks. Those EX Battle Decks with one EX in them that are usually a very weak basic EX that has like two energy, do 50 damage with no effect. This is kind of like your upgrade to that. These are not as good as the League Battle Decks, the ones that are meant to be competitive, but these are good enough for like somebody who wants to start out and get into the game, maybe wants to visit their locals for the first time because at least this is somewhat functioning. Because once again, you got a bunch of future box Pokemon with Earth, Earth and Vessel. So if you wanted to just take this deck just straight out of the package and play it at locals, you could actually have a fun time. You're not going to immediately get molly whomped by everybody you play against because there's actually some pretty solid trainers, some pretty solid Pokemon in here. But as an overall deck, I think this one is probably one of the more better EX battle decks. And the main reason being is it actually has playable cards in it. A lot of these EX battle decks do not have playable cards such as Earthen Vessel. And it is rare to see a playable card such as Earthen Vessel, such as Sada's Vitality, wherever she's at, and such as Super Rod in them. A lot of times you see stuff like Great Ball, like Pokeball, like um, Youngster, Nimona. Those are the kind of cards you're used to in these EX battle decks. So if you wanted to pick up this deck, you're not necessarily losing money, especially if you can find a good deal on it. If you can find this deck from a vendor selling it for like $14.99 or maybe even $19.99, it's a pretty solid purchase. And that's rare to say for an EX battle deck. Anyways, guys, that's it for my opening slash review of the new Coridon EX battle deck. Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think about this deck? Do you think it's actually a pretty good value? I know for MSRP, a lot of us would probably say no, but considering a lot of EX battle decks go for under MSRP, I think this is kind of a steal. I think this is actually one of the better EX battle decks you can buy on the market right now um, when it comes to the non-league battle decks. Like the, the level three decks are always good for tournament playability, but these decks are great in the grand scheme of, hey, you got some really cool stuff in here. But let me know in your own opinions, what do you think about this deck in the comment section below? Let me know if you like it, you dislike it. Do you think Earth and Vessel deserved this reprint? Or did, you, or would you have preferred them leave Earth and Vessel alone and let it just go to the moon? Uh, with that being said, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, as always, to keep it awesome.